coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Amelia Earhart documentary showcases drone expedition. Autonomous return, NASA decides fate of the Starliner. And Joby completes fully autonomous flight in USAF exercise. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Amelia Earhart documentary showcases drone expedition. The Discovery Channel recently released a documentary titled Finding Amelia. It showcases an expedition to unearth the fate of legendary aviator Amelia Earhart, which was conducted using drone-mounted magnetometers. In 1937, Amelia Earhart disappeared over the Pacific Ocean while attempting a round-the-world flight. If she had been successful, she would have become the first person to circumnavigate the globe around the equator. Numerous research teams have organized missions and created theories on the cause of her disappearance, but the remains of her and her aircraft have yet to be discovered. The Finding Amelia documentary features one of the latest and most intriguing efforts. The expedition began in February 2021. The journey occurred in the jungles of New Britain in Papua New Guinea. The team arrived on site carrying a load of drones equipped with magnetometer, lidar, and photogrammetry tech. Before the true search could occur, they used a small drone with a camera to map out the search area. Then they used lidar scans to build digital surface models and digital terrain models. Switching to LiDAR, they completed dozens of low-altitude flights. In this, they found what seemed to be hidden Japanese troop trails and an object which bore a resemblance to Earhart's Lockheed Electra. The investigations will continue. After the break, Monson police use drone to locate intoxicated runaway. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon, www.sportplane.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Monson police use drone to locate intoxicated runaway. A railroad worker made a 911 call stating that a man was passed out on the local train tracks. The East Longmeadow Police Department jumped in to help locate him using their drone unit. This occurred near the Maple Street overpass in Monson, Massachusetts. According to the worker, the man looked to be extremely intoxicated. Upon approaching the tracks, the man woke up and ran off into the woods. Monson officers decided to utilize the East Longmeadow Police Department's drone unit to locate the man, who they apparently knew as someone that, quote, only posed a danger to himself, end quote. Zero Avia advances electric propulsion with $4.2 million FAA grant. Zero Avia has been awarded a $4.2 million grant from the FAA to support further development and validation of its electric propulsion system. The funding will come from the Inflation Reduction Act through the FAA's Fueling Aviation Sustainable Transition Discretionary Grant Program for Low-Emission Aviation Tech. 
The R&D will be done in Zero AV as ever at Washington Propulsion Center on design, fabrication, and testing of its proprietary electric motor and inverter with the goal to achieve certification and commercialization for 2 to 5 megawatt powertrains. Lilium begins integration on Jet Electrical Power System. Lilium has completed the first phase of integration testing using their in-house lab, ticking off a key milestone on the way to eventual certification. As the lab works on tying together the electric powertrain's batteries and engines, workers on the production line are already beginning to assemble the first two Lilium jets for the upcoming certification campaign. The lab will replicate a jet's powertrain in a controlled test environment, checking systems that will eventually become the backbone of the sustainable aircraft. Ag Eagle Aerial Systems delivers first 20 EB Vision drones to French Army. Ag Eagle announced it delivered the first 20 of 49 EB Vision full stack systems to its reseller for French Army surveillance operations. Each system includes an EB Vision UAV, ground controller systems, antenna and communications package, and a tactical backpack for deployment in the field. The entire purchase order of 49 units also includes a comprehensive package of spare parts for a total purchase valued at $3.4 million. That was our next gen minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Autonomous return, NASA decides fate of the Starliner. NASA has confirmed that the Boeing Starliner will make its flight home autonomously without astronauts Wilmore and Williams. As a reminder, Wilmore and Williams flew to the ISS in June for what was supposed to be an eight-day stay. Instead, due to several leaks and thruster issues, they have yet to return. While they wait on a solution, they have put themselves to work conducting research, maintenance, and data analysis among the existing ISS crew. NASA has decided to keep the pair on the space station through February 2025. Then they will join two other astronauts on the Dragon spacecraft assigned to the agency SpaceX Crew-9 mission. As for the Starliner, its uncrewed return is scheduled for early September. The spacecraft was designed for autonomous flight and has completed two successful unmanned missions in the past. Steve Stitch, manager of NASA's commercial crew program, said, quote, The NASA and Boeing teams have completed a tremendous amount of testing and analysis, and this flight test is providing critical information on Starliner's performance in space. Our efforts will help prepare for the uncrewed return and will greatly benefit future corrective actions for the spacecraft." End quote. After these messages, Joby completes fully autonomous flight and USAF exercise. The legendary BD 4 c program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD-4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD-4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Joby completes fully autonomous flight in USAF exercise. Joby Aviation has successfully demonstrated autonomous aircraft operations with the U.S. Air Force. The aircraft completed fully autonomous tasks over nine locations during the Agile Flag 24-3 exercise. Joby Aviation is a California-based transportation company. In June, it acquired X-Wings Autonomy Division, permitting it to further develop autonomy technology. They intend to continue building next-gen tech while executing their contract with the U.S. DOD. 
Earlier this year, X-Wing participated in the USAF's Agile Flag 24-1 exercise, in which they demonstrated over 2,800 miles of fully autonomous flight. They also completed challenges with congested airspace, night flight, sloped runways, and landings at airports with no additional infrastructure. In the Agile Flag 24-3 exercise, Joby operated a fully autonomous Cessna 208B Grand Caravan equipped with several X-Wing technologies. It, quote, transported essential components, end quote, Joby explained, through military bases and public airports across California and Nevada. The grand total was over 3,900 miles. The exercise demonstrated the aircraft's ability to complete fully autonomous taxi, takeoff, and landing at nine different locations, including some that it had not previously visited. The aircraft was monitored by an onboard safety pilot and by a laptop and satellite communications terminal on the ground. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.